Come with us this week as we explore Metropolis, Illinois, a town with awesome shops, Superman statues, a Hope Lighthouse, and a old fort. On our way to Metropolis, Illinois, home of Superman. The Super Museum in Metropolis, Illinois, the home of Superman. Exploring Super Museum. The museum has a great gift shop with all sorts of knickknacks and souvenirs that you can purchase. Once you enter the museum itself, there are all kinds of artifacts from various Superman shows and movies over the years. Some of these are toys and lunchboxes and other items that you will remember from your childhood. Here's a look inside the gift shop with lots of items. Trust me. What other city could you find a giant Superman statue and a truth sign on front of the courthouse? Lois Lane played by Noelle Neal from the Adventures of Superman TV series. Since Lois Lane worked for the Daily Planet, it is no wonder that Metropolis has Metropolis Planet. The police department has a justice sign. After you check out all of the Superman statues, be sure to go back and look around the town. You'll find some really awesome little boutiques that are locally owned and operated. Within walking distance of the shops, restaurants, and even the museum, there is a Harris Casino that conveniently has a hotel as well on the river. We're here visiting the Hope Lighthouse. It was built in 2014 to help fight cancer. Conveniently, everything in Metropolis is located close together, almost within walking distance to Harris Casino and the downtown area right along the Ohio River. We can actually see barges moving goods in the United States. Welcome to Fort Massac. Appears to be six remaining buildings and something that looked kind of like an oven. There were four flags that were flown over Fort Massac. You have Spanish, French, British, and the American. When we found the ground marked for the original buildings, we realized that the ones still standing were replicates. The state park has an indoor museum on site with full facilities for everyone to use, and it was actually a pretty interesting place. While we were visiting the Super Museum, we asked the guy at the counter where was the best place to eat in town, and he said Cordovino's. It's an Italian kitchen nearby. We walked over there and gave it a try, and I gotta say, it was actually really good. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications of our next video.